Shalom. I want to start off by giving all praises to Yahweh, Bashim Yahweh Shah, Bashim Makark Kodash. Double honors to the apostles and elders at Great Millstone that rule well. Salutations to the hopeful elect, pushing this word in sincerity and truth across the four corners of the earth. All right, and I'm uh, just grab. It's in Psalms, <coughs> excuse me, Psalms 19. Uh, it says, e Alif, Alif, you know, I'm probably pronouncing it wrong, but, uh, you know, starting at the top, it says, uh, blessed are the undefiled in the way who walk in the Lord, the Lord. Blessed are they that keep his testimonies and that seek him with the whole heart. They also do no iniquity. They walk in his ways. Thou hast commanded us to keep thy precepts diligently, all right, because that's the only way for Israel, Israelites, all right, you Negro, Latino, Native, Seminole, Indian, all right, to, to get close to the Lord, Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Shah, all right. It says, they also do no iniquity, they walk in his ways. Thou hast commanded us to keep thy precepts diligently, all right, because we know that love is is following the uh, law, statutes, and commandments of Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Shah, to the best of your ability, all right. That's the key. You know, now, as it's going to continue on, it says, Oh, that my ways were directed to keep thy statutes. Then shall I not be ashamed when I have respect unto all thy commandments. All right. And that's where that level of shame comes from for, for those that actually seek the Lord. All right. That level of shame comes from your know, downfalls. All right. Oh, that my ways were directed to keep. Thy statues, meaning I, you know, a, a lift, you know, is basically saying I, I wish I was doing this perfectly. You know, oh, that my ways were directed to keep thy statues, meaning all of them do everything perfect. Then shall I not be ashamed because only a man that, you know, has a, a respect and a love. And a, a chiefly a fear of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai is gonna be ashamed, you know, at, at his at his downfalls, breaking the law. You know, you, you go off. You're only gonna be ashamed if you actually care. People are only ashamed of things that they care about somebody else knowing, right? Like you, you know, even amongst you know people on the earth, you're ashamed like of somebody knowing something that you wanted to keep, you know, secret. I guess you know. But we know, like the scriptures say, you know, the most high's eyes are 10,000, you know, times brighter than the sun. So you, you're not going to be, you, you can't, you can hide shit from man, you know, but you can't hide nothing from y'all, boy, shit, man, I'm the omnipresent. And you know this, all right, you know that everything that you do is being recorded, everything that you, you know, say. It's being recorded. And once again, that's when that that's that shame comes from. But you know, through those times, you still gotta, you know, seek the Lord. You know, don't don't get to a point, you know, where it's like I, I'm just not, you know, good enough. Cause, you know, nobody's really good enough. Nobody's really, you know. With the Lord God, I just, you know, all this dude is so perfect. I mean, he's just, you know, ain't nobody like that amongst us. You know? It says, then shall I not be ashamed when I have respect unto all thy commandments when we doing it perfectly. And we're not going to do it perfectly until we get that new heart. So the Lord take away the stony heart and give us the fleshly heart. So that's why in the kingdom of heaven... We ain't going to be ashamed. It ain't going to be nothing to be ashamed of. All right. Although the two-thirds will have a level of shame when the kingdom is established, you know, because they don't have any shame now. The level of shame that they're going to have when the kingdom is established is, you know, the level of shame that we're experiencing right now when we do things. We we getting that shame out of the way. You know you're wrong about things. You got to be real with yourself and accept it, but continue to move on and continue to, you know, try to fight this fight.
you know, once again, the two thirds on the other hand, they they not gonna feel it until the kingdom. All right, which which is gonna be, you know, we have a level of guilt, you know, for for times we go off. But their level of guilt is gonna be even worse. All right, because they're gonna they're gonna be blessed and they're gonna feel like they don't deserve none of that shit. You know, and we working towards, you know, getting back in the good graces of your Bar Shim Yahweh Shah. All right. Then shall I not be ashamed when I have respect unto all thy commandments. It says, I will praise thee with the uprightness of heart when I shall have when I shall have learned thy righteous judgments. I will praise thee with upright, uprightness of heart when I shall have learned thy righteous judgments. And that's what we're doing right now. Praising the Lord because we're learning everything now. You know what I'm saying? Everything. Both sides of the spectrum. Left hand and right hand side. We, 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 you know, I remember the Apostle Gabor made a video experiencing wickedness to appreciate righteousness. You know? That's what this is. But once again, the kingdom, when the kingdom established, when it says, when I shall have learned thy righteous judgment, we're going to know everything. It ain't going to be no Israelites going on. You ain't going to have to pick up the scriptures and, uh, you know, correct your fellow Israelite anymore because it's just going to be within us. And it's within us now to, to, to a certain extent. It's just we don't have it all perfectly. Like certain things happen and a scripture pop in your head. That's how it's going to be in the kingdom. You always going to know how to maneuver through any situation based on the law, statutes, and commandments, the teachings, the testimonies of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shah. You know? It says, I will keep thy statutes, O forsake me not utterly. And that goes for this shot. You know, we we try to keep the law, statutes, and commandments to the best of our ability. All right, but you stumble sometimes and you fall, man. Oh, forsake me not utterly. And that's what we pray. Like, like King David said, uh, don't take your Holy Spirit away from me. Y'all bought me, I was shy, you know, forsake me not utterly. You know, don't do away with me. Don't throw me back into, you know, with those you truly despise. Don't have mercy on me. When I, when I try to get this thing right in this wicked flesh. If it be in your will, you know. So I just wanted to make that little quick video. I hope it was edifying. Uh, with that, I'm going to say Shalom.